Guys, welcome back, Full Time Reds. We are back. The season has restarted after the international break, and we are ready to give you a match preview today of the Southampton game, which kicks off tomorrow at 12 p.m. in the UK. If you've not subscribed, if you've not got involved, please do so. We're a brand new Manchester United community channel which wants to give a balanced view on what is going on with our team rather than giving an overreaction like some channels so please do support us please do get involved and um, tomorrow we've got a big game um against southampton um uh, which is a big big game I, I i did a video on monday on this on on the current situation and i didn't want to do what a lot of the other creators are doing just keep pumping out content on ten hag day after day and there wasn't much really out there to cover which i felt was worth covering and anything you know, there were just bits and bats and stuff. I didn't feel there was enough to make a video on. So I kind of, Monday was my last video, which I looked at Ten Hag and the situation he is in and what I expect to happen. If you've not seen that, please go and watch it. Today, obviously, I'm going to look at the match preview and um, how we expect to line up form-wise, tactical re review, preview, sorry, players to watch, head-to-head -head record and the managerial tactics. Team lineup wise, how will we line up tomorrow? This is just my opinion, well, an opinion of others as well. Let me share my screen with you guys and let's have a look at this how I think it will go down tomorrow. And um, let's have a look. Okay, can we add to? Yeah, there we go. Okay, let me make this bigger. This is how I think we will line up tomorrow. Um, I think Andre and Anna will go in goal. Maserabi will be at right back. Matthias Delay, who I thought had a really good game against Liverpool, which was our last game. I thought it was really good. Will be at um, centre uh, back. Um, Lisandro Martinez and Diego Dalo are left back. Diego Dalo, hands up. I, was, I didn't really rate him for the past year or so. He's been excellent. I thought he was really good against Liverpool as well. Just a bit unfortunate with the tactical setup. Looking at the midfield. The midfield that everybody wants to um, change and what will happen and whatever. I think Casemiro will start again, in my opinion. Um, reason being, I think Ugarte, he will feel that because he's come back late and he said that in his press conference, not late, he was the last to arrive. And um, because of that, I think he will not play him from the start. Kobe Menu will go alongside him. Ganacho, Fernandez. Rashford and Xerxes up front. I think you'll keep with that lineup. I don't think there's much changes about Ogate. He can make potentially Ahmad should come in with Ganacho going to the left side, but he doesn't really change much um, in this. And um, it'll be interesting because I think Southampton will go with Ramsdale as their new keeper. But the thing to keep about, on, about Southampton is. Um, they are a team that will play out from the back. And so far as we've seen this season, um, teams can hurt Man United already. We've seen that Fulham were very unlucky. Um, on the overlap, if you've seen the overlap, they, they referenced it really well as well, where Fulham, if they had the better final pass, they would have killed Manchester United. But I don't see much changing in this lineup tomorrow. It's the first game to kick off the Premier League back. There's going to be a lot of pressure on this tomorrow in my opinion um on, on on the team to really hit the ground running um and uh, you know that that is something that we, we, we our form has not been very good since in my video on monday i i i said that since the carabao cup final bar the fa cup fa cup win we've been really poor we have been really really poor and um, this needs to improve and it needs to improve immediately because these next six, seven games are crucial for the manager. Tactically, we can put in this midfield Ugarte, Prime Casemiro, and Golo Kante. And you can even put in Makaleli in there if you want. And we'll still have problems. It's the distances. And when people say Casemiro, he's too high up. Why is he doing that? He's being asked to play like that. If you look at Toby that came on on, on, on Sunday after took Casemiro off, he, on that third goal, look how high he was. And this is not going to change. It's not changed in four years. And I think what Ten Hag is expecting is the penny to drop with these players and they kind of understand what he wants. But um, it's not happened nearly coming to, what, 15 months. 
And I don't know if it will happen. I don't want to kind of make this into a negative video, but let's hope it does happen for the sake of United. Let's hope we go out there tomorrow, smash them 6 0. Everything falls into play. Everyone gets a 9 out of 10. You know, that's what we would ideally want. I think tomorrow's game, tactically, Bruno Fernandes has to start turning up. This guy gets, a, you know, he's a great player. He's a, a good player. Would you say he's a great player? Potentially, he could be a great player. But as captain, you were expected to do more. I feel, I felt every time I've watched him against Liverpool, especially, he's gone missing. I felt against, um, on Sunday, especially when when we played Liverpool, he went missing. And, and Paul Scholes on the overlap made a very good point where he goes, ideally, we should switch to a three in midfield, but we can't because Bruno will, can't, he's not disciplined enough. And I agree with that. But he has to lead the team tomorrow from the front he has to push us he has to drive us you are the captain we was if when harry maguire was in this situation we were out you know fans went after him i think bruno's been given a lot of slack he has to step up it's you know and we need to learn to retain you know when people go we can't keep the ball no what people don't mention bruno's half the problem because he keeps playing hollywood balls so he has to guide the players on the pitch as well. He has to keep everyone focused. He has to turn up tomorrow and really put it on. I hope he does, you know, and starts giving us uh, some sort of momentum in the season is what we need. Um, players to watch again from our side, I think um, Kobe Menu. I think he's uh, he's he's key. Xerxes looked really good. At, uh, and um, Rude Hullet made a great point about Xerxes, saying that I don't know why uh, Kuman took him off. In, when he was playing for Holland and he and what he adds, I think um, he is somebody to watch. I think that him and Kobe Men will be really good to watch tomorrow and to keep an eye on them too as well. Um, tactically, I wouldn't really expect anything different to what we've seen. It's going to be end to end. It's it's going to be high. It's going to be you know wide. It's going to be pump it up. Um, ideally, I'd like it to be different, but don't expect anything different. I think Ten Hag's under the pressure. Um, and if he loses tomorrow, the pressure is going to get ridiculous because we've got some tough games. And I think he should be wise enough to know what to change and how to change it. And there's an article come out this morning where they were saying that um, the, the the tactical issues and how his setup needs to be addressed on the on the on the training field. When we hired him, when we got rid of Solskjaer, the the the, the narrative was we need a coach, and we've never had a team that played like Solskjaer's post Fergie. And that's facts. You know, at least he had an idea on what you wanted to do. Yeah, it was counter-attacking, but it was very clear. And, and and if Ronaldo doesn't come in in that third season, I think he would have kicked on. But um, fun expectation-wise, fans... What, what Ten Hag needs to understand is fans is a way of winning at Manchester United. And, and you have to win in a certain way. It's just not about winning a 1-0. There's a style, there's a there's an elegance, there's a presence, there's a, there's a panache to us. And we have to play in a way where... Um, it's just not about winning, it's winning in style. And I think if he's been here coming into his third year and doesn't get that, then hold on. But look, I don't want to, like I said, turn into a, positive, a negative video, but there's a lot to look forward to. Let's hope we get in there tomorrow, smash him to pieces, 4-5-0. I'll be happy with a 2-0, but ideally 4-5-0. And really get the season going. I'll be back with a match reaction after the game. Please do get involved by subscribing. Speak to you guys soon.